Hey guys, welcome back to Minute Watch. That was me playing the guitar. I'm a guitar player. Um, just want to do something a little bit different. I want to bring something a little bit different in every video. I don't want it to be super monotonous. Um, here is a ball, and uh, let's get to it. This is an Isobrite Grand Slimline by Armor Light. It has the model number of ISO. 903 and uh, what makes this watch special is well, just look at it it's gorgeous but it's also got uh, t100 tritium tubes now tritium tubes are radioactive tubes uh, did I hear a cat meow my cat is outside um, they have um, each little index and number have little tubes in them we can see them and uh, they are filled with uh, tritium gas and that's radioactive and it will just glow for about 20 30 years although it will slowly get dimmer over time but it'll just glow at night and I'll get that I'll get to that in a little while um, this watch is around $500 it's not exactly cheap um, the MSRP is about 595 US dollars but um, you can get it right now for about 500 maybe 520 So it's not exactly a cheap watch by any means, but definitely a looker. Definitely a very beautiful piece. It's, it's relatively thin, and uh, it's, it's, really, it's, it's really, really nice. And uh, let me uh, get my phone. Where? Where is my phone? Could have sworn I had it somewhere around here. You know, you think you get prepared for these videos and you get all the crap around you and like there's just a mess of stuff here and just like there's flashlights and walkie talkies and batteries and all kinds of crap around you. And then the most important thing you have is not next to you. So here's a, another shot of this and I will look for my phone. Uh, I'm gonna walk away really quickly. I apologize about this, but I need to find my phone because there's some stuff on it that, um, uh, that I need. There it is. Yeah, the phone of justice. Ah, my Galaxy Note 4. I love it so much. Okay, so well, let's get to some more stuff here. This uses a sapphire crystal with an anti-reflective coating. It's a nice touch. And uh, it uses a quartz movement. It's not a mechanical. It's a quartz movement, which is uh, made by uh, Ronda, the Ronda 715 quartz movement. It's, it's, it's a Swiss movement. And uh, so it is battery powered. If you know me, you know I love my mechanical watches, but that doesn't mean I won't appreciate a quartz watch that's very special. Um, my, like most quartz watches, even the cheapy ones, it is hackable. You pull out the crown and you stop the second hand, like there. Uh, it is not a screw down crown, therefore the water resistance is very minimal at 50 meters, so you can just get a little bit splashy splashy on it. Don't go swimming with this watch, you will destroy it. So, uh, not a bunch else to say about this watch. Let's get to the measurements. Pew! And uh, I measured the case width at 42 millimeters, perfectly on par with the measurements. The crown to crown is about 45 millimeters. The lug width is 22 millimeters. The lug to lug measurement is about 50.5 meters. So it's it's got a big it's got a big lug to lug. It's it's not a small watch. It's it's a pretty large by large watch by today's standards. Um, thickness is about 8.3. And here's a, something I haven't done before. The buckle, the buckle width is 20 millimeters. So in case you, you're wondering about that. Let me put it on my wrist. Uh, this doesn't exactly fit me. The, uh, the strap is a little bit too long. But look at that striking color. Uh, I have about a six and a half inch 
wrist in circumference. It is like an anorexic chicken leg. So I'm putting it on all the way. The last hole in the strap. And uh, well, actually, it does fit. No, I take that back. That's weird. It didn't fit on this side, and this side is bigger. Huh. Anyway, nothing that a, uh, a new strap can't fix, a slightly shorter one. But um, see, it's, it's, it's pretty big. It looks pretty big on my wrist. Um, definitely better suited for larger wrists. Or if you'd like the look of uh, big dressy watches. <laughs> I personally um, I personally do not like how it wears. It's just a little bit too big for me. If this was a 40 or even a 38 that would be perfect. Uh, I wish they offered this in uh, more uh, uh, more uh, varied array of sizes but maybe they will in the future. Uh, but for again for anything uh, under six and a half inches uh, it's not gonna fit so good one of the things I don't like about this watch is that date window I just I just wish they didn't even put it there I just wish it was a dateless watch um, you know even if even with the movement in inside they could have just covered it up uh, that's my personal opinion um, but um, yeah I, I I love that blue dial though it's very striking Super cool looking watch though. If you have a bigger wrist and you want a tritium watch that's quartz, <laughs> um, yeah, you'll you'll like this. This thing is beautiful. This leather strap is just kind of matte, not super shiny. It is comfortable, um, but again, if you need it to be shorter, there's there's definitely lots of options out there. It would also probably look good with a black strap, I think. Um, but yeah, let's get to the uh, let's get to the important stuff. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn off the light. Pew! And notice you can't see anything. Uh, that's because I'm going to change the ISO setting to maximum so you can see it. There you go. Oh nope nope. There you go. So here you go. That's basically what I'm seeing with my uh, with my own eyes right now in this light. That's what's glowing. Uh, in total darkness, you will see this. Your eyes will adjust, and this will appear much brighter and it's just a joy to look at like if you're in a theater and you look at your watch it'll just be glowing uh, it definitely reflects off of a wall when you put it in darkness so it, don't let this video um, don't let this video dissuade you uh, it is definitely glowing but I'm gonna show you something uh, cool I'm gonna I'm gonna blast a regular loom of the watch I'm going to blast my Seiko Monster with some light and I'm going to put it right next to you to see the difference of what a good loomed painted watch, a good painted loom watch looks against uh, uh, the T100 Tritium Tubes. As you can see there is no comparison. A good, a good painted loom will just be ridiculously brighter initially. Uh, after a while though this uh, you will not be able to see the glow of of this watch, but it will still be visible in the dark, dark, uh, the darkest of nights, the most darkest of nights, in the evilest of countries. Uh, I don't know, but they will both these both these situations will provide you with visibility during the night. The tritium T100 tubes will be brighter. That is definitely for sure. So you can't go you cannot go wrong with it with a watch with T100 but <laughs> look at how badass that monster is just glowing like there's nobody's tomorrow it's just like yeah look at, suck it man I mean look at that it's just like monsters are awesome any doogie housers uh, let's turn this back on to the thing and uh, I actually have another watch that has the T25 the slightly dimmer the slightly dimmer tritium tubes and I will do a review on that one and then another video comparing the two and uh, hopefully, hopefully uh, somebody can get something out of it <laughs> anyway that's my review oh wait, wait. here's the dis here's the display here's the back of the, of the watch it's nothing special anyway that's my review thanks for watching